This is one of those days where I've got more to do than I can possibly accomplish in one day. My house is at sixes and sevens. I was away most of the day yesterday. My hubby was here. He made himself some lunch. I'm not sure whatever else he was doing, but the house is a hot mess. And I need to take care of that, particularly because, number one, it's a hot mess. But number two, I'm having a fall dinner party here this weekend. So I want to get the house all cleaned up so I can start focusing on some of the things I need to do for the dinner party. And I need to do my daily swish and swipe. So I'm going to get that started. And then the lady next door is having a baby today. And I want to make some cookies or muffins or just something sweet that I can take over for her. She's got a little girl that's already about three, three and a half. And then they're bringing home a new baby within the next day or so. And I thought it would be nice if there were some muffins or cookies or just something that she could share with her daughter when they're having some quiet time. When the baby's asleep and they've got a little minute that they can spend together with maybe milk and cookies or tea and cookies, there'd be something that they could share. So I've got to get those made, get dinner done, and a few other things. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. And I thought I'd bring you along with me as I try to clean up this very messy house and then get ready for my dinner party. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women how to make and keep a home. So if you want to learn more about running a household, hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's get it started. Like I said, I was away most of the day yesterday, so the house is at sixes and sevens. And I'll take you around and let you see some of the things that I need to do. And then I've also got a post office run that I need to do too. So let me just kind of share with you a little bit of what I've got to get done. I'm not sure what the hubby was doing in the family room, which is pretty much his space. But when I got home yesterday, all the pillows that I had in there, these orange and white ones and this pumpkin pillow had been thrown in here on the sofa so obviously he wanted to get them out of there so I'm guessing he was probably working at the coffee table and these were in his way but I need to get these things sorted out and I had been working on a fall lookbook and I set up this screen so that I could photograph myself in front of it in the outfits and I could see my whole body but I got to get that down and then just get this living room sorted out. So it needs to get vacuumed. It needs to be dusted and that hung up and that kind of thing. And then over here in the corner are just some gifts that I need to get wrapped. This particular one, I was working on my Christmas special edition of the Thrifted to Gift It. So I need to get that put away. But then the other boxes I'm working on. A um, great gift wrap collaboration with Around the House with Cheryl. So I need to get those at least moved out of the way for the weekend so that I can get back to getting them taken care of for the collaboration. And you can even see there's one I've got tucked away in the corner that needs to be addressed. Now luckily enough this dining room is already pretty much set. I would like to switch out this buffet, but if I'm not able to get to that, it's okay. But I definitely do need to vacuum the floor in here. This bag of books needs to go to the library. And then I need to make a post office run. This little package here on the top, I had originally planned to mail off to, to Diva, designing on a dime. But it came back because I had an incorrect address. And then this box here that I got from the Grove Collaborative um, was kind of defective and they're sending me new products. So since they're sending me new products, they said I could either keep the ones in the defective box or give them away. And I thought I would give them away to one of my subscribers who is always so supportive and then one of my subscribers who had the comment of the week. So I'm going to be making a post office run to take care of that today. I need to get this floor vacuumed. And then, oh my goodness, look at this kitchen. The table is a hot mess, and we had dinner last night, and then after dinner, I just pretty much went upstairs, and you can see how the table was left. So I've got to get that cleaned up. 
and then I need to get this picture put up on the wall. I showed in another video where we had had what was supposed to be a, a removable tape to put up some other pictures and it turned out that tape was not so removable. So my husband has repainted the wall and now I want to get those pictures up so that they're there for the weekend. And then I'll need to come in here and clean up this family room. I don't normally bring you guys in here because like I said, the hubby's always in here, but I need to get in here and get it sorted out so that it's good for company. So I'll need to get that table cleared away. And I can see that he's moved the centerpiece or the decor that I had on the table. So I can tell he was probably sitting over on that side because you, you can see where he's left tape out. Not interested right now, but thank you. Bye. So I can see that he was working on this side of the table. Not sure doing what, but I can just see he's got tape out and I don't know. Not sure what he was doing. But anyway, I got to get this cleaned up. Get these pillows organized and sorted out. And then last night I did sit in here with him and we watched TV. And that's where I was sitting. And the pillows are just askew. So... And I have to get this neatened up. So I guess I should stop talking and get cleaning. So in case you're wondering what that green light is that popped on when I picked it up, it's one of my fairy lights and I must have just hit the button just right when I picked it up that the light came on. I was trying to figure out where I was going to put that canister and those bowls. I'm just simply running out of space. I'm going to have to minimize. And here's my sweet little blackbird. I just love to show him and use him during the fall season. I had dried some thyme leaves and after they dried for a while I thought I'd go ahead and put them in this thyme jar that I saved from some purchased spices. So now I've got some of my own dried thyme leaves ready for you. So that's just a little tip, a way to save a little money. I love growing spices in the summer and then when the fall comes I'll just dry a few and then I've got some all year long. always have so much of this hot sauce stuff left over so rather than waste it I pour it in a jar of our sriracha sauce and my husband likes it
I love this little spoon rest. I picked it up at Pokagon State Park. They have some of the prettiest ones up there. I've got one with that cardinal and one with a bluebird. So I thought I'd better check in real quick just to let you guys know how things were going. I've gotten the kitchen pretty much cleaned up. All I've got left to do now is just clean the counter and actually clean the sink since I didn't clean it last night before I went to bed. And I'll use my non-stick counter spray because I've got some Caldrea counter spray that I love to use and it doesn't leave my counter feeling sticky so I call it my non-stick counter spray but I'll clean up the counter using that and then I'll actually clean my sink and I've got some new garbage disposal pods that I want to try so I'll even clean the garbage disposal so I'll drop those down and we'll see how those work out and then I'll do the floor and the kitchen will be so I've got some sea salt neroli countertop spray that I just love to use and I love the odor, the fragrance that it gives to the kitchen. And I'll just move this aside so that I can clean the whole counter. So we'll get this counter cleaned up. The floor done and the kitchen will be done. And then I can move on to some other things. And just in case you're interested in checking out this Caldrea countertop spray, I'll link it in the comment section below. My blueberry vinegar that I made. Now I'm going to clean my garbage disposal and I've got these garbage disposal pots. These are the Grab Green Garbage Disposal Freshener and Cleaner Pots. And I've used them once before and I'm pretty much satisfied with them. They look like this. So they, they look like a regular dishwasher pot and you just run some warm water in the disposal then you drop this in and wait for a few seconds then you turn on the garbage disposal and this particular scent is the tangerine with lemongrass and it is such a fresh scent and I don't know about you but my garbage disposal can get pretty nasty so I try to drop lemon peel in it from time to time, particularly in the morning if I'm making a smoothie. I'll put the lemon peel down the disposal just to freshen it up a little bit. But even so, some of the debris from the lemon peel and other foods that you put down it can kind of cake the sides of the disposal. So you really need to clean it out from time to time. So we are going to use these today and we'll I'll let you see how they work. So I've let the water run. Now I've dropped it in there and I'm going to let the disposal fill up with a little warm water. And I'm already enjoying the fragrance and now I'm going to turn the disposal on. And that's all there is to it. And so next I'll clean up my sink and I'll be done with this kitchen. Now I'm going to clean my sink and I'm going to use my Mrs. Myers apple cider scent multi-purpose spray. I love the fragrance that this has so it just smells so fresh and right now in Indiana the apples are in so I love this scent. Like I said right now the apples are in and apple cider and apple dumplings and all kind of apple desserts are 
or apple treats, desserts, whatever are available right now. So, I just love this fragrance. Now the sink is done. I must say, I am starting to get tired. I think I planned more to do than I probably should have for this one day, but I just really wanted to try to get as much cleaned up today as I could so I could work on some other things for the dinner party this weekend. So I thought I would get this room done, and then I think I'm gonna to have to take a break. But I'll get the dust off of these books and I love books. So we always have books all over the house and then we also like art. So there's lots of art too. And this book, oh my goodness, weighs a ton. So I'll get this table cleaned up with the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Lemon Verbena Glass Cleaner. I like the fresh scent of it. And it doesn't really compete with any other fragrances that I might have in the kitchen. And I can see where my husband's been working in here. There's like little dots of orange paint here on the table. So I'm gonna have to get that up. So 
So now I see why things were all moved around. Little bits of glue, drops of paint. There's almost, there's almost always paint somewhere going on in here. There. Let me just dust down here real quick. My husband's a big civil rights history buff as well as music buff. So this particular book here uh, is a um, documentary of the hip hop movement and it's got great pictures in it. I mean, there are some really great pictures in here. So it's definitely a coffee table piece. So people like to look at that when they come. And then, of course, there's a book here about Dr. King. And then there's this great book about Mandela. So all three of these books were gifts to him. jazz guy playing a, a cornet here and he had real wide arms that were actually musical notes but it was so wide that sometimes some of the larger men sitting in chairs would kind of bump the arms so my husband moved this statue over here because he was afraid the other one might get damaged
Well, I feel like I've been running at top speed all morning, and I guess I have somewhat. I have to run out to the store just to pick up a few things, and one of the things I need to get is chicken feet. I want to use some chicken feet to make my chicken bone broth, and I learned that Walmart carries them, so since I need to pick up a few other things, I'll just do everything at Walmart today. Okay, so I've got my groceries picked up, and now it's on to point B. So now I need to make a stop at the library. I've got quite a large library find, so let's take care of that. So these are the ones that I have to turn in, but I want these first, these top four back. I want to renew those. And I realize, yeah, I want to renew these, but I'm done with those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm done with those, mm -hmm. but I want to read these. It's been a while since I've seen you. I've been here. It's just different. You probably come here when I'm, you know. Yeah. They, she came, she, my schedule has been changed too, a lot, too. So. Uh -huh. okay. Otherwise, how are you doing? You know what, good girl, can you believe I have another find that is probably $35. I checked it last night. Now, i tell you what happened. I got a new phone. And so my app was gone when I got the new phone. And so I wasn't getting the text messages. So a $35 library fine is ridiculous. And typically, I'm on top of that, but this time it just got away. But I really don't mind paying because, you know, I like supporting our local library. I am their favorite patron. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. Please enter your pen number. Please scan your item now. I just feel like I have been busy all day and I guess I have so I'm back from the grocery store and as soon as I get these groceries put away I'll cook some dinner. So I'm going to go with something really simple though. I'm just going to do a little bit of chicken and noodles on top of the stove. got all the groceries in and I don't usually go to Walmart for my groceries. I'll run in there to pick up odds and ends, but this time I had to go because I needed these chicken feet. They have them listed as chicken paws and they were only $2.10 for this whole pack of chicken feet, but I'm going to make some chicken bone broth and to make it really gelatinous, you need some chicken feet. I've never cooked with chicken feet before in my life, but my friend Mary at Mary's Nest swears by chicken feet because she says it makes the best bone broth. It makes it just the right texture, as gelatinous as you need it to be. So I am taking her on her word. I am stepping out on faith and I am going to use these chicken feet. I keep my tissue in this basket up in my laundry pantry. And then the rest of it I'll take upstairs and put in the hall closet. And I like to keep my cereal in these plastic containers. It just helps it to stay fresh.
And just as I was getting my groceries put away, my sisters dropped in. So there were a few things that I didn't get done that I had planned to do today. But I did go ahead and get dinner started. And I was just making a simple chicken and noodles. These Esther House noodles are absolutely amazing. They are just so good. And what I like to do is I'll put them in just plain water and when they come almost to la dente, I drain the water out and then I add the chicken broth and let them finish cooking in that. And they just soak up that chicken broth and oh my goodness, they just taste amazing. And I used just a little over half the bag for this particular recipe and then sprinkled in some coarse kosher salt. And now that they've been drained, I add my chicken broth and I only use Swanson's chicken broth. Don't ask me why, I've just always used Swanson's. I probably used about a box and a half for this particular recipe. You can use a little more if you want the sauce in it to be a little thinner. And then of course my Campbell's soup goes in. So I like to use the Campbell's chicken soup and a can of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. Now if you've got a person who has mushroom allergies, then just use two cans of Campbell's cream of chicken. And that little spatula that I use to scrape that soup out of the can is just so helpful. I use it in my blender. I use it in a jar. I just use it all the time to get things out of cans and jars. They do make a shorter one, but I just have the one size and it works for just about everything. I keep adding chicken broth until it's right at the consistency that I like. I add about a cup of chopped carrots and a cup of chopped celery to this dish. I chop the carrots off camera. And then I saute them in a little vegetable oil and then I add them to the dish. I just picked this chicken up in the deli at Kroger. All you have to do is just break it apart. And you can take the skin off if you like, or you can leave the skin on. That's up to you. But just cut it up into small pieces and then just drop it in your chicken and noodles. Kind of tuck it down inside and let it just kind of cook for a little bit, letting the flavors meld together. And voila, you've got an easy, recipe for chicken and noodles. And I was really making a pretty easy recipe because I was starting with a chicken that was already roasted. I picked it up in the deli at Kroger and then just adding my Esther House noodles and a little bit of chicken broth and my other goodies. And it just turned out beautifully and it was so delicious.
And as I said earlier, my sisters dropped in, so they had dinner with us, and he decided he'd eat in front of the TV. Delicious. And as you can hear from their comments, they loved it. I always plan more to do than I can possibly accomplish in a day, particularly when I am videotaping. And then I had some unexpected interruptions that took longer than I expected, so I didn't get to my living room, I didn't get to my swish and swipe, and I didn't get to making the muffins for my neighbor. I'll just have to finish my to-do list tomorrow. But I do appreciate your hanging out with me today. You got to see me doing my typical housewife life. Cooking, cleaning, and running errands. Stop back tomorrow as I make some quick and easy cinnamon muffins for my neighbor. And please check out my Thanksgiving 101 playlist where I show you how to roast a turkey, how to make my family favorite macaroni and cheese, how to make cornbread stuffing, how to make candy sweet potatoes, and quite a few other dishes I'm sure you will want on your holiday table. And just so you know, I've raised three children, I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video.